It's crazy, it's, it's been almost, I guess, going on 10 years, man. It, you just think about uh, everything it took to get to this point and everything it took to, to be able to, to, to touch this bad boy. It's still surreal. I won't drop it. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. I got a miniature one, but this yeah. is the first time I had it. It, it, it means um, that we took advantage of a unique opportunity to um, you know, help rebuild the city and to do it together. You know, we didn't do it on our own. Uh, we did it with the people of New Orleans. You know, we took it upon ourselves to collectively change the culture you know, of the way people think about the New Orleans Saints, you know, Saints football down here, and, and to just change everything about you know, this organization. We were able to accomplish that. It's not the physical trophy, it's the memories that uh, it represents. It's the journey, and you begin to learn this as you get older. It's those things, they don't realize it, but the practice and training camp or the locker room, uh, that, that is the journey and that really is the, is the special part of it. All right. All right, you ready to go? Absolutely, let's do this. All right, we're gonna run up the engines a little bit. And there's the kick of the afterburners, and we're accelerating. There's 70 miles an hour. 100. 120. Pull it back on the stick, there's 140. <laughs> and we're yeah. flying. All right, gear's coming up. We're going to level off here at about 100 feet. We're clean. You ready to go? I'm ready. Wow. Ready, hit it. Woo -hoo -hoo. And there you go. You're climbing away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Amazing. So I passed through the Carmel Monterey you know, area a number of times. And I always thought it was a special place, um, but when our twins were maybe seven months old, that's when we came up here to take a real visit to, to look at it, and just felt a connection, um, and it felt like home right away. But we didn't have any real connections to to the area, you know, no friends, no family necessarily. But again, it felt like a place where we might want to raise our kids. So we came back a few more times, just felt more and more drawn into it, and, and more connected to the community, and just decided to go for it. Yeah, I feel very fortunate to be part of a school community who really is just in it together. Um, you know, I'm always looking for, you know, comparisons and you know, similarities and things. And in a lot of ways, it, it, it does strike me it, it, like, like my time in New Orleans, you know, with, with the Saints. It's, it's a sense of we're all sort of in the same boat, rowing in the same direction, all looking in the same direction, and you're a part of something that matters. Well, 2008 was uh, a, a tough season. I think we finished eight and eight, and I think five of those eight losses were by like three points or four points or less. Um, so we knew, regardless of record, we were a better team than that. I think we'd finished eight and eight, um, but man, we had a lot of games where we were leading or had a chance to win at the end of the game and in the fourth quarter, and we just couldn't close it out. So I felt like we had a, we had a real good team, and, and we had a team of, of players and coaches that um, had great character and understood what was preventing us from closing those games out and so that was a focus in that offseason um, you know finish finish games we had a real competitive spring so I think we were optimistic but everyone is to start the season and I, I remember being at in Atlanta at Charles Grant's charity weekend and he was just looking around in awe of how many guys came to support him for his, for his um, 
uh, camp and the different events he had going on. I want to say there was like 20 some guys there. Um, and he, he got on the bus and he said, we're going to win the Super Bowl this year. And I'm, I'm not so sure everybody wasn't just giving him the, the you're right, just because he's our buddy and our teammate. Um, but I remember like it was yet, like it was yesterday, him getting on the bus and saying, man, I love you guys. Thank you for coming. Like, this is, this is what it takes. We're, we're going to win a Super Bowl. There was a whole demeanor change. Uh, the way Drew approached us, um, starting off, basically just starting off with the chant. You know, this is what we're going to do. One, two, win for you. Three, four, win some more. Five, six, win for kicks. Seven, eight, win is great. Nine, ten, win again, win again. Well, you know, we had a great offseason. You know, we had acquired Darren Sharper, Jabari Greer. Tracy Porter was coming into his own. We had a, we had a heck of a core of defensive players with Scott Vegeta, Scott Shanley, uh, Jonathan Vilma, Will Smith, uh, Charles Grant. Um, and they had been through our program since 06, and they were tough, and they were smart, and they were dedicated. We had brought in some guys to help us out secondarily-wise because when I first got here, we were a lot older in the secondary. But when it came to getting younger, more athletic, with more ability right now, that offseason was huge for us. We competed all the time, whether it was in the weight room, whether it was at practice. I mean, we even competed when we went out just hanging out. You know, we, we, it was always competition. And that team, believe it or not, they spent all morning practicing together. They got out of practice about 1.30, 2 o'clock. And as a team, they went bowling every day to the point where at the end of the offseason, I go through the locker room and I see bowling shoes and bowling balls in guys' lockers. I mean, it was like the Pro Bowlers Tour, but that team loved being around one another. 09 felt like that season, that the leadership amongst, you know, the veteran players on both sides of the ball and the way that guys worked for one another and cared about one another and held each other accountable and just, like, you could just feel that, that element, you know, where there was just, the guys, the guys really loved coming to work to be with each other. You know, that's, I think that's a huge measure of a team and um, your, your success. And, from the very beginning, I think we felt like this was our year. Our offense was definitely tired of us by the time training camp rolled around. The hot sign was always on, on for that team, like Krispy Kreme. Like, you know, when the hot sign is on, you better come pick it up. And our hot sign was always on. Everybody um, were competitive. We wanted to be the best. It got fiery at times, but it was family. And when you're family, you know, special things happen. I like to have part of the finger See, it was simple. He'd be able to play. It was fairly, fairly cut and dry. This is what, what he'd be able to do now. Without that, and having the surgery, it was going to take a little bit more time. It was going to probably cost him some games that season. He elected to have the finger removed, and it's kind of the way he's kind of played his whole career. Thank you. Uh, thank you. First of all, I just want to I want to thank the coach for the kind introduction. I remember um, one sentence he said very vividly, and he came and he walked around, spent some time looking around at all of us, and he said, you know what? I smell some greatness in this room. Yeah, when I came into this room, I smelled greatness. Hey, I smell greatness in the room, and to say, you know what? I, I do too. Man, can you imagine that 20 years from now, 20 years from now, 20 years from now, damn, we did something great. Damn, we did something great. And what I love about smelling their greatness, and what I love about that, 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 that experience is that most people don't realize that they never get to be able to even get close to it. There's a presence he has. Um, you know, we had three things, smell greatness, be special, and uh, finish. Ronnie Lott um, talked about smelling greatness, and he had played for Super Bowl teams. And when he spoke, um, man, it was impactful, it was strong. When you look at the guys of, you know, uh, Jeremy Shockey, Drew Brees, uh, Jari Evans, those guys bought in, these guys bought in. So I think these guys thought they could be good, but when they hear a Hall of Famer tell them that they can be good, 
it was a significant day. Um, and, and maybe that's what this team is about. Maybe this is a chance for something that's great, that's bigger than we've ever experienced before. I, I just got to say one thing, man, because this, this is... One is, man, I appreciate this. Two is, again, man, you got to smell it. I smell it in this room. Man, don't throw it away. I smell some greatness in this room.